Good evening, family, and we're back for another shady video, okay? And we get this one here from Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Yes, from a Courtney Jackson. She is the journalist of this particular article that she wrote up for her boss, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. She titles it, Former Real Housewives of Atlanta Husbands, uh, Paulo Nada and Peter Thomas discuss show and Mark Daly. Okay, let's get right on into it because we don't want to waste no time now, do we? Okay, current former reality show personalities are joining the wave of video conference chat sessions, which either turn into interviews or casual conversations. For fans, that's become a source of entertainment while social distancing with members of the Real Housewives franchise doing plenty to keep people's attention. Okay, sidebar. Yes, they don't want people to forget about them, okay? Because when you don't have no press, whether it's good or bad, that's bad for the reality star or celebrities, period. And point blank. Okay, so they need to stay relevant. They need to stay out there. They have to use the format as YouTube. So be it. Or the chat streaming lines. So be it. Okay. They giving it to us however they can. All right. But going back to the article, it says the latest to hop online to share their opinions are former cast members and husbands, Apollo Knighton and Peter Thomas. They each had interesting commentary about the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast and not a had some words for Kenya Moore's husband, Ma Daly. Now, like. Come on now, Apollo. <laughs> if you don't want nobody up in your business of you and your fiancé, don't get between Kenya and her made-up husband. Don't do it, honey. You wouldn't like the outcome because I'm sure she'll come back and slay you for trying to help her out or speak a, a positive of her on her behalf, okay? And probably, I don't know. I don't know who would fight. Who would win the fight between you and Mark? Because Mark seemed kind of soft. So, yeah, you probably would whip his ass, Apollo. Okay, okay. I see where you're going with it. I see where you're going with it. But you can't be having no feelings for Kenya now. Okay, boy. You can't be having no feelings for Kenya with that fiance. <laughs> I know you're a cheater, but Lord, have mercy. Okay. Lord have mercy, Apollo. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Apollo Nada and Peter Thomas haven't seen the show, but both men logged on to speak with blogger Michelle Brown. Um, she has the vlogging show ATLian. I'm just speaking off a uh, term or out of this article. She is the blogger or CEO uh, of Straight From the A dot com. She is an entertainment blogger, real well known here in Atlanta, and she does a lot of uh, behind the scenes having interviews with some of our local celebrities here in Georgia. So check out her channel and tell her Deb Chanel sent you over, okay? Okay, but going back to the article, it says um, both men logged on to speak with uh, blogger Michelle Brown of straightfromthea.com about the current season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thomas admitted she doesn't watch the show. He doesn't watch the show, so he hasn't kept up with the drama. Nia said the same. Well, uh, I could see Peter not watching the show because he's always out there trying to shake a deal, make a deal, lose a deal. You know, Peter just like being in the spotlight himself. So he can't be sitting up here watching no drama figure show that he's not on. And doggone it, I wish they would have gave them me in a show. Uh, him and Peter. Well, Apollo and Peter. Todd and uh, Greg. Yes, that would have been so fitting to see the men get down and throw a little here and there if um Missy King was still messing with Matt. But he was kind of too dumb for them. <laughs> he was like, Matt, they were like, Matt, do you know how to make money? We get ten thousand our wives just to make a, a, a appearance, okay? At least that's what Tar said anyway. But you know, they were trying to break the boy in or the man boy. Excuse me. Man, boy, in, but it didn't too much work. It didn't too much work. He didn't have the savvy to uh, try to run with Todd, Peter, Greg, and um, Apollo. Okay, but going back to the article, it said, During the virtual session, fans posted their questions, and one asked if the former castmates know Mark Daly. 
While Thomas replied he never met him, someone reminded Nada who Daly was, and his and his response was more animated. Note that Nada has never met Daly. Okay, I don't like that guy, man. He's a real. I think he meant to say Dick. I think he added that there's something about Daly's demeanor demeanor that bothers him, and he seems like a chump. He's not cool. He's not cool. Not to say. I'm like, Paulo, don't you know any more words than just cool? Could you express yourself a little bit better? What are you trying to say? You trying to take up for Kenya? Cause we know you lied on Kenya when you were saying Kenya was trying to, uh get with you and made all these texts to you and this that and third and it came out prior to you going to prison that you said it was all fictitious it was fake and this that and the third so i kind of stopped liking you when you were doing that i'm like it's no sense you're a beautiful man you got a fine body you know this that and third you don't need to lie on can you because i'm sure it's a whole hell of a lot of women that will want to get with you but you did you know mess with her in that way and i don't like that because i'm like if you're gonna come for kenya come with all guns blazing but don't don't lie about it now don't don't lie that's when you lose my respect um but like i said it basically was is what it was you did that shit and basically you lost my vote in you know ever looking at you as a decent man uh that could probably tell the truth and be in a truthful relationship so watch out honey phaedra done told you <laughs> she groomed apollo so she know what kind of man you got uh apollo's uh fiance okay girl and that's atl and michelle brown of course y'all know peter thomas and then that's apollo not and i wish oh child i wish you get rid of that beard and be a clean shaved man again it's just not looking right it's not working for me, Apollo. It's not working for me. But anyway, going back to the um, article, it said Nada was ad adamant that he does not like Daily. And although he said he and his new girlfriend don't watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, they see and they hear things on the blogs. Oh, yeah, right. I bet your uh, fiance ain't watching them. You know she watching them because she probably want to be on the show herself. And I don't know if Nene had her way. She probably would guest appear, let her have a little cameo shot. <laughs> <laughs> but then Nene would turn on her because she'll probably get, be getting shy and they'd be wanting her to tell news on what Phaedra's doing and how is Phaedra and Apollo co-parenting and this, that, and the third. It, it, it would just all be really good. But, I, you know, I'm like, uh-uh, don't bring them on if you ain't going to bring Phaedra back because I'm still on that campaign. We want Phaedra. We want Phaedra. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, Thomas sent well wishes to Cynthia Bailey. For a moment, the conversation pivoted to Thomas' opinions on his former wife, Cynthia Bailey, and her new beau. Mike Hill, at first, he joked by saying, who? Then he stated he doesn't know Hill, but he wishes the couple nothing but the best. And I like Peter Thomas. I don't care what nobody says. I know he's just sliding from the earth. He's just a... <laughs> <laughs> an avalanche chaser or i should say a reality star chaser or entertainment chaser looking for that woman that got their rich pocketbook I, I mean i know i know but peter thomas is just a sexy ass looking man i don't care i'm telling he looks good but anyway you know i'm pretty sure he's hooked up he's connected real well with the elite he might be a handler for one of the housewives or Maybe that's how he got Cynthia and Nicole. I, I don't know, okay, because I'm, I'm getting off topic. That's just a conspiracy theory. Don't pay me no mind. But anybody else want to dive into that conversation, you know I'll be right there looking, okay, and ready to divulge myself. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Thomas continued by sending positive words to his ex on her upcoming nuptials and said, Matter of fact, let me know when they get married that I can send them a gift. Sincerely from my heart. I've never met the man. I don't have anything negative to say about him, okay? Uh, the next one said, do Thomas and Nida still speak to their ex-castmates? It's obvious these two are still friends and pick up where they left off after Nida was released from prison. But what about relationships with the other Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members? Thomas shared that with the exception of Nida, he only speaks to Needy and Greg leaks he considers nini to be a dear friend and because of that bond he's friends with greg too and i'm like really she the one called you a bitch peter she said you want to be a peach holder okay 
the male version, but you were acting like an itch. But okay, if you like your friends like that, she keep it straightforward <laughs> so you know how she's made. Okay, so I can get with it. Person can tell you the truth, talk shit in front of your face and stand in it. Okay, cool. I guess they could be your foe, your friend. You hear what I'm saying? But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, Thomas told Brown that the leaks support his events and other travel and patronize his businesses, such as Bar One in Miami with friends. Not a had no comment, but last year he hung out with Todd Tucker. At least once seeing, wait a minute, Todd Tucker at least once seeing, I'm sorry, once since leaving prison. Candy Burris talked about her her vlog neither thomas nor nida had any plans to return to the series so don't look for them and thomas said he's happy and living his best life as for nada he's keeping his life on the routes with his fiance but stated the government knows what's what he's up to and that's what matters i'm like yes honey if that's what matters to you okay that's what matters to us because we don't want to see you go back to jail uh-uh uh-uh no that was a long time away from your boys a long time not paying child support. You need to play catch up. Yeah, you really do. And hopefully, Fraser left you some money so you didn't have to rat her out. And then we find her behind bars or whatnot. So, okay, you did that darn thing. But we need you to stay out of jail. We don't need you to be in no quick, what do you call it, get quick uh, money rich schemes. Okay, we don't want you to sham nobody out their money. We want you to be a good husband. There'll be your second wife. We want you to do the right thing this time, Paulo. We need you. We want you. We beg you to do the right thing, especially for your sons. Because they need you. They need you. They need you. They need you. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about subject matter that was presented here on the Family Affair. Get down in those comments. Dialogue with one another. Just be respectful. That's all I ask. Okay? And like and share the videos as well. See you next video. Take care of yourselves.